And you, you know, we just heard Sarah Seidner talk about how it, the storm was not expected to hit Daytona Beach uh, in the way that it did, to affect it in the way that it did. You've seen flooding there before. How did it compare this time to to to, uh, to just the last time? Uh, a lot better. I mean, we were out a couple hours before, you know, in the early morning hours. It was fine, and the tide's coming in, and the storm really just hit us between that like uh, midnight to about that three, four o'clock in the morning, and that just caused that water to rise real fast. Goes to show you how quick these things can turn on you. But uh, we got some water damage down there, but nobody's hurt, like I said. And that's the only area right now that appears to be flooded in our city. Uh, the beach side looks really good. A lot of the streets look good. A lot of debris is, in the roadways is not is clear, and I think that's because of Matthew. Last year we cleared most of that stuff out, and, and we're just not seeing it right now. So for the hours ahead, uh, what's the task? What's the job? Well, we're going out back right now. We're going to go out and drive around, make uh, mitigation, look, uh, do some search, uh, see if anybody needs any help, and try to get them some help. All my officers are going out the streets right now. The winds have died down tremendously. They're probably around 35, 40 right now. So we're going to go back out and see if we can help some people. That's what we do. Yeah, uh, and we're very thankful that uh, that you do that. Thank you, uh, Chief of Capri. Uh, appreciate your time. We wish you the best to all your officers. Uh, been working around the clock over the last couple of days. Uh, Chris, the, the situation in Tampa, uh, you know, certainly the big concern here uh, for all of yesterday really uh, was the potential for storm surge, the potential obviously for